Hi, this video is going to cover the SAT topic of complex numbers. So on the SATs, you just need to know how to um, do the basic operations with complex numbers. So how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide complex numbers, and how to simplify complex numbers. Um, so we're going to take a quick look and review what a complex number is and how operations with complex numbers differ than operations with um, expressions with just regular variables in it. And then I've got five uh, practice problems from the official SATs that we're going to go over, solve, and discuss as well. Let's take a look. Okay, so I is defined as the square root of negative 1. I standing for imaginary. And what that allows us to do is take the square root of something like negative 25. Uh, so we can split up the negative 25 into um, 25 and negative 1, and then split it up into the square root of 25 and the square root of negative 1. So the square root of 25 is 5, but then the square root of negative 1, as we've defined, is i, and then the answer to this becomes 5i. So it allows us to take the square root of a negative number. Now an important concept when you're doing operations with complex numbers is i squared. So if i is the square root of negative 1, then i squared is going to be the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1, which just ends up being negative 1. So a very important concept when we're doing operations with complex numbers is that i squared is negative 1. So whenever we're doing uh, operations, we treat a variable just the, i just the same as any other variable. So if we had 5i plus 10i, we would get 15i. 4 times 3i, we would get 12i. But when we get a case like this, 6i times 5i, we'd get 30i squared. But rather than a regular variable, we've got to go one more step now because the i squared is equal to negative 1. So we've got to replace the i squared with negative 1. And this becomes 30 times negative 1, or just negative 30. Okay, let's take a look at how to simplify something. So if we have i in the denominator, uh, since i is defined as a square root, we can't have a square root in a denominator to have something fully simplified. So 5 over i, we can simplify that by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by i. So if we multiply the numerator and denominator by i, we're multiplying by 1. Uh, so we can do that. So the numerator is going to be 5i, and the denominator is going to be i squared. And again, we need to know that i squared is negative 1, and we're going to replace i squared with negative 1. So then 5i over negative 1 just becomes negative 5i. Now if we have a more complicated, where we've got, um, that was just an imaginary number in the denominator, what if we have a complex number in the denominator, how would we simplify 3 plus 2i? Well, we're going to multiply it by something that's called the conjugate. So the conjugate of 3 plus 2i is going to be 3 minus 2i. And you'll see why we chose that particular thing in a second. Um, and it's just because that's going to help us cancel out so we have no more imaginary number in the denominator. Let's see how that's going to work. So if we multiply the numerator, the 3 times the 3 is 9, and the 3 times the minus 2i is going to be minus 6i. But let's take a look at what we do with the denominator. So the denominator, we've got to multiply 3 plus 2i and 3 minus 2i. So let's multiply this out by FOIL. Uh, the first two is going to get us 9. The last two, I mean the outers, is the 3 times the minus 2 is going to get us minus 6i. The inners, the 2i and the 3, is going to get us plus 6i. And the last two, the 2i and the minus 2i, is going to get us minus 4i squared. Now when we do the math here, the minus 6i and the plus 6i cancel out. And those middle two terms are always going to cancel out when we pick a conjugate. When we pick the same two terms but a different sign, those two middle terms are going to be the same, except with different signs, and they're going to cancel out. So those two are going to cancel out. We're just going to be left with 9 minus 4i squared. But we're going to replace that i squared with negative 1. So this becomes 9 minus 4 times negative 1, or 9 plus 4, or 13. So that whole denominator now has no imaginary number in it anymore. 
So it's just a whole number. So that denominator is 13. And then to do the final step to simplify this, we just split it up into two parts, the 9 over 13 and the minus 6 over 13i. Okay, I've got five problems picked out from the official practice SAT test. Let's take a look at these. First one, very straightforward. Uh, we got 2 plus 3i and 4 plus 8i. We're just going to combine our like terms. We're going to combine the real part, the 2 and 4 is going to get a 6. And then just combine the imaginary part, 3i and 8i, and we get 11i. And we really don't have to go any further from that. And c is our answer. The second one, very similar. Let's combine our um, like terms. So if we combine the 7 and the minus 8, we're going to get negative 1. The 3i and 9i is going to get us 12i, and then that gets us choice A. The third problem gets a little trickier. We're subtracting. And we also have this i squared in here. The best thing to do first is to get rid of that i squared. The whole, the key important thing is remember the i squared is negative one. So let's rewrite this. Now the nine times i squared, i squared is negative one, so nine times negative one is gonna get us negative nine here. Then we've got to be careful when we're subtracting. We've got to subtract both pieces. So this is going to be 5 plus 12i minus a negative 9 becomes a plus 9. And then minus a negative 6i becomes a plus 6i. And then from there, we just combine our like terms. 5 and 9 is going to be 14. The 12i and 6i combine to 18 i which matches our answer d okay here we're dividing two complex numbers 8 minus i and 3 minus 2 i but notice what they're looking for they're only looking for the real part so they're only looking for a the real part of the complex number so we're still going to have to multiply this by the conjugate um, so we're going to multiply the denominator by 3 plus 2i, and then we also have to multiply the numerator by 3 plus 2i. All right, so now let's calculate what the numerator is going to be. The numerator is going to be 24. And now here's a, here's a little shortcut, and you can multiply it all out if you want, but this term and this term are going to be imaginary numbers, so we actually don't need those. We're going to have plus something times i, right? And then our last term is going to be minus 2i squared. And if you wanted to calculate the, those, that can, but it's, that's going to get us the b part. And then so you're just going to get for the numerator, you're going to get 24. Um, plus 2, because the i squared we're going to replace with negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be plus 2. So the real part of the numerator is going to be 26. So this is going to be 26 plus something i. All right, and then the denominator, um, the 3 minus 2i and the 3 plus 2i, when we multiply conjugates, our middle terms are going to cancel out. So we're going to get 9. We're going to get a plus 6i and minus 6i that cancel each other out. And then we're going to get a minus 4i squared. We replace our i squared with negative 1. And we get 9 plus 4, or 13. So our um, denominator is going to be 13. So our real part, the a that we're looking for, is going to be 26 over 13 or 2. And again, if we, they were looking for the full answer, we would have just had to calculate these 
and then we would have an I as well. All right, here we're dividing two complex numbers. We're going to have to multiply by the conjugate. So we're going to have to multiply 3 minus 5i over 8 plus 2i. The conjugate of the denominator, same terms with a different sign, is going to be 8 minus 2i. Multiply the top and denominator, numerator and denominator, both by 8 minus 2i. So let's do it out. Numerator is going to be, let's put parentheses around these just to make it a little easier to see. We're going to get 24, the 3 times the 8. We're going to get minus 6i minus 40i, and then plus 10i squared. Minus 5i times minus 2i is going to be plus 10i squared. Now we're going to combine our like terms. That's going to get us minus 46i. And then since these are complex numbers, i squared is negative 1. So we're going to replace this i squared with negative 1. 24 minus 46i plus 10 times negative 1, or minus 10. So when we combine the 24 and the minus 10, we're going to get 14 minus 46i. So that's our numerator, is 14. minus 46i. Now let's work on the denominator. So our denominator, the middle terms are going to cancel out, so we're just going to get 64. 8 times 8 is 64. Um, 2i and minus 2i is going to be a minus 4i squared. We're going to replace that i squared with a negative 1. And we can get 64 plus 4, or 68. 68. Then we divide this up into two parts. We're going to get 14 over 68 minus 46 over 68i. And we can just reduce both of those fractions, divide everything by 2. We're going to 7 over 34 and 23, and it's a minus, 23 over 34i. And that's going to match our answer C. Thanks for watching, and if you have an SAT coming up, good luck. I'm going to continue to add SAT material. So if you'd like to subscribe right up here, you can get notification of when new material comes out. And I've got some more stuff for you to watch right here. Thanks again for watching and please come back soon.